If you want to edit your photos as cinematic as color grading your videos, you should definitely keep on watching this video. What's up YouTube, hope you are doing really well and in this video, I am going to introduce you the amazing Dehancer Photo plugin for Photoshop and Lightroom which helps you achieve some cinematic filmic look on your photos. So let's jump into the Photoshop and show you how this amazing plugin works. By the way guys, you can use my promo code MEHRANHD to get 10% off your Dehancer Photo plugin purchase and you also support my channel. Now let's go to the Photoshop and start the editing process. So here is the street photo which I shot with the Sony ZV-10 and the Sony FE 85mm lens. And as you see here, here is the effect which I achieved with the Dehancer Photo plugin. Uh, I went for a cold look and as you see it is really cinematic and has a filmic vibe to it. Uh, we will go uh, step by step to see what we did there, but uh, let me first show you what adjustments I did on the raw photo. I just uh, increased the exposure and just changed the temperature to make it uh, neutral, not so much warm and not so much cold. And I added a little bit of saturation and uh, for the profile I went with the Adobe Neutral. I always go with the neutral profile to get a flat look when starting the editing and then I just go for the rest of the editing process and here we will see uh, and I will delete this uh, layer and create a new one to see what how I did the editing process and I will show you the Dehancer photo plugin. I would I would create a new layer with con control J and then we will go to filter Dehancer and Dehancer film. As you see here, we have a, a control panel here and, and another one at the right and we have two sections here, profiles and presets. Presets are for saving the look, looks you create and profiles are the films look and uh, we can, you can go one, one, one by one to see which one you like and as you see there are lots of cinematic uh, film profiles here, you can choose the one you like. Most of them are real beautiful for street photos. I have uh, gone through one by one, uh, but the one I chose here was uh, the Kodak Ektar. Uh, I really liked the cold look which it which would, it would give the photo. Here is the Kodak, let me show you. We have Fujifilm again, this is a cold look, but I don't like it. It's not really contrasty. I like contrasted looks and here is the Kodak Ektar as I said. It gave a cold look to the shadowy areas and this is a good starting base for the photo. You can choose your uh, film profile first and then you go to the right side of the panel and then you can start the editing process. We have source here, you can change the exposure if you like but I, I would not touch it touch it because I am pretty glad with the exposure because I set it in the Adobe Camera Raw. So I'm not going to change these settings. We have the fringe option, we have the fringe radius. I'm not changing anything because I do not have any fringing problem here. So we go to the film developer. For the film developer I enable it and you can change the contrast. I want to increase the contrast and make the photo more contrasty as you see here. I'm just increasing it and you can come back and change it later for now I am pretty glad with the contrast we have gamma correction again you can change the white point I think in this photo it's changing the white points and making the whites more contrasty it's more affecting the mid-tones as I see here so this is a gamma correction I'm not we can just add a little bit of gamma correction to add some punch to the mid-tones. We have color separation as you see here. I do not see um, much change here by changing the color separation so I do not touch it. We have color boost and the color boost just uh, intelligently controls the colors and you would not face clipping. Uh, I'm going uh, to decrease it because for a cinematic look 
you just need some uh, neutral colors and not so much saturated colors so i decrease it and i think it is good at here six minus six minus eight and after that um, i go to expand and then i will uh, explain the film compression for the expand you can change your black points and white points and i want to increase the whites a little bit uh, to make this uh, photo more punchy at the top levels the highlights and as you see if I decrease it the uh, photo becomes more light uh, the photo becomes uh, the whites become whiter and it becomes more punchy so I I'm increasing the whites and here you are decreasing the number but uh, 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 you are uh, decreasing the level of, you are increasing the level of whites I think 92 is good and for the black points again if you <coughs> sorry if you increase the black points you are getting more blacks deep blacks at the shadows I will increase it and I think here it is good and after that uh, as I said uh, we have the film compression this is uh, such a beautiful effect that this compresses the highlights if you check here it compresses the highlights and makes your photo m look much more cinematic and I think 50 is good and the white point is the level of white uh, which the, this effect starts to affect the photo uh, I set it at default but you can change it as you see here I set it at 100 the default number and here we have, a pr we have the print option this is like uh, printing your negative uh, uh, film on a positive or on a paper and you have some options here like exposure uh, tonal contrast and if you increase the exposure as you see the photo will become a little bit uh, lighter and i'm not changing this a lot because i was pleased with the exposure just a little bit i think we need the exposure to be increased and after that we have tonal contrast i like this effect it uh, makes the shadows uh, more dark uh, it uh, makes the shadows darker and you get a more 3d look out of the photo as you see here the photo becomes more 3d i do not increase it so much because i had uh, boosted the contrast here and i am pleased with this number and here we have saturation again you can change it again I, I will decrease the saturation a little bit here and after that I go to the color head here I like it so much because we can create a warm or cold look and uh, I mostly want to uh, play with the cyan and red mm, if we drag this to left we add cyan and if we drag this to right we add red so I want to make this photo co colder so I'm going to drag this to the left as you see we are starting to add cyan I think here is good enough and I want to also add uh, some green to remove the magenta now it is becoming much more colder the photo and here we have a shadow tone mid-tones tone and highlights tone if I play with this, you will see, uh, if I uh, move it to the right, we are adding yellow. And if I move it to the left, it's adding blue to the shadows. So I want to add some blue to the shadows. So I move it to the left and I think minus 30 is good. We get a beautiful cold look at the shadows. We have mid-tones. Again, I want to add coldness to the mid-tones I think minus 8 is good and we have highlight tones and I'm not playing with the highlights so much just a little bit of cold tones in the highlights it's okay right now and it's okay for the color head and let's uh, get to the film grain here we have the film grain uh, you are not getting a good preview here uh, I am uh, I recommend you to just set the film grain here and press OK and see the preview 
in the Photoshop. But I'm going to increase the size to eight. For example, you can check and adjust it to your liking. And I will increase the amount so much, maybe 80, because I want this to be really cinematic. We have a um, option here, resolution. Uh, when we add the grain uh, to the photo, it makes the details of photo uh, look uh, less. So if you want the details to remain, you can increase the resolution. But the characteristics of a film is that the grain is much more present than the details of the photo. So it depends on you whether you want it to be so filmic or not. I just uh, wanted to have a little bit of details, so I increased the resolution. Uh, this is a, not a good preview, it's, sh it's showing so much grain, but it's not that much. So I leave it here and I will show you. And uh, here is the option film type. I wanted to say that uh, I would uh, put it on positive. Now uh, we have a better uh, grain here. I like it more than the negative. It's like uh, uh, printing this uh, photo on a paper or like uh, putting it for a projection, a screen projection. So I set the film time to uh, film type to positive and here uh, here you see the uh, grain. Again, this is showing a much more grain here in the preview. If you want to see the final result, you press OK and you can w uh, watch it in the Photoshop. Uh, we have hal halation. Halation adds a red halos around the highlight areas again as you see here if you like this effect you can go with it it depends on your liking i leave it on it's not bad we have the option bloom here bloom makes uh, uh, the uh, contrasty edges uh, creates a light dispersion effect on the contrasty edges so here as you see we can uh, change the, the um, diffusion as you see here it makes the background as you see the lights at the background more diffused I like the effect so I increase the diffusion here I'm happy with the default settings and I will leave the bloom here and the last option we have here is vignette as you see here the vignette uh, you know most of you know about the vignette creates a uh, circle dark circle around the photo and brings more attention to the subject so i will uh, decrease the exposure to make the um, around the photo darker so as you see here here i added a much more vignette and here is the final look which i achieved with this uh, dehancer photo plugin and if i um, enable and disable the preview you see it made so much difference and I pressed OK and here you can see the final result. I really like the effect which you can achieve with this Dehancer photo. I, pre I previously made a video about the Dehancer DaVinci Resolve plugin which I use for, my, uh, for color grading my videos. It makes a lot of difference, difference guys if you want to up your game in color grading your videos and photos I really recommend this plugin especially for videos and here again as you see you can also achieve some cinematic vibes in your photos with the Dehancer photo plugin for Photoshop and it is also available for Lightroom it is it has the same interface and settings not uh, so much different and don't forget that you can use the promo code Mehran HD to get 10% off your uh, the answer photo plugin purchase so this was it for this video and if you have any questions about this amazing plugin please feel free to ask them in the comment sections and i will be seeing you in my future videos goodbye